Hello everyone, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to our second night of prayers for this week. Those of you on Facebook, we appreciate you joining us again tonight. And those of you that are joining the podcast, either through Apple Podcasts or through Spreaker or through Bishop Bichola's podcast or whichever platform you are using, we appreciate you being here tonight. We just crossed the line of 125,000 downloads. Yes, it was like the other month that we crossed the 100,000 and we were making noise. Well, we crossed the 125,000 and uh, this has been made possible because you are always with us week after week. And I'm still trying to find who really, really downloads these episodes somewhere in Africa. Please, I correct myself. We are at 126,000 downloads, actually 126,272 downloads as of right now. We appreciate you joining us. Prayers are there. They never get deleted. You don't have to pay for them. We could monetize them and interrupt your listening, but we don't want to do that. So once you start, you listen to the end, and there are no interruptions. You can download them. They are all free. Please avail yourself to those things. And to those who are joining us, calling in, we appreciate all of you tonight. And I want to say a big thank you to our engineer, always quiet. I'm the one who makes all the noise. And she's just sitting down there making sure everything goes okay. We thank God for your life. You know, sometimes we don't appreciate the people that God puts in our lives. Once in a while, we need to. And I just want our engineer to know how much we appreciate you. And my great editor, too. Thank you, sir, for all that you do day and night. May God bless the people that God has put in my life to help and to do the work of the kingdom. Welcome. Welcome back tonight to this great prayer meeting. You know, I made a lot of noise about this yesterday. You will find out why. Just preparing for this program tonight sincerely sobers me up. Wow. Collateral damage. Not my portion. This is part two. Part one was last night. And at the beginning of the program last night, I defined to you what collateral damage is. And I said it's any type of death or injury or any type of damage that is inflicted, that is an incidental result of something that happened. And I illustrated it last night like a bomb being dropped to damage a building. And when the bomb drops, of course, it damages that building, but it also damages an unintended building next to it. Now, that second building is said to suffer collateral damage. We saw that in the life of Moses last night by his own confession. (sighs) But the scripture for tonight is even more graphic. I'm so bad. Just talking about it, it's troubling what I'm about to read to you. It's, it, it's sobering. I keep saying that. But we got to pray these prayers because this is reality, reality, reality of what is happening in real life today. Before we read, please share the link to the platform you are on tonight. So others can partake of the blessing. Father, bless us tonight. Give me the freedom to lead the prayers and give your people the freedom to pray. We bind any interference from the powers of darkness. We pray that we will not be hindered in any way to do what we have come here to do. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 
and amen. I repeat, our text is a very touching and a very unfortunate event that took place in the book of Matthew. Interestingly, interestingly, it is connected to Jesus. Yes, it is. If you got your Bibles with you, let's open to the book of Matthew chapter 2. I'm reading there in verse number 16, Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Collateral damage. Not your portion. Not my portion. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath and sent forth. And slew, notice that, all the children that were in Bethlehem. Can you imagine? And in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet. What did he say? Verse 18. And I checked out this prophecy by Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah. And it's exactly like it is here. In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and will not be comforted because they are not. Wow. Like I said, it is so, so sad that this happened. And I think that's the more reason why we need to pray about it and to pray against it. Because this foolishness, this foolishness still takes place today. You know what my prayer for you and for me is? That your children, and as a matter of fact, may no one in your family become victims of collateral damage. Wicked Herod, (laughs) he missed his intended target. And in anger, because the Bible says he was wrath, he went after innocent children. And he said, anyone two years and under, take them out. Senseless, foolish, idiotic, I can go on and on. He slaughtered them all. I'm glad the Bible does not tell us the number, but it's going to be a lot of children, two years and under. The Bible even mentions the name of a mother. Hmm who lost more than one child. How do I know that? Because the Bible says she was weeping because of her children. Sadistic, damaging act of Herod. Look at what verse 18 says. In Ramah, there was a voice heard. A voice heard. There were many voices, but this one, Jeremiah heard it was a voice, listen to what kind of voice it is, or it was. It was a voice of lamentation. It was a voice of weeping. It was a voice of great mourning. Those are three strong words. Lamentation, weeping, great mourning. Rachel, weeping for her children. So not more than one. So she obviously had more than one child that was under two years old. Maybe her grandchildren are added also. And the Bible tells us, this is so heartbreaking, she will not be comforted because they are not. People went to her and tried to say, oh no, stop weeping, Rachel. That's all right, Rachel. That's, mm, she said, please, 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 I don't want to hear your voice. She will not be comforted. Why? Because that is always the effect of victims. And surviving relations of victims of collateral damage. It leads to lamentations. It leads to weepings 
and unconsolable mournings. This is so sobering, I repeat, and worthy of being prayed about tonight. Yesterday's example was even easy to bear. I mean, he never missed the, the promised land. All right? And he was an adult. You know, anything that's connected to children just, just touches our hearts. He was not slaughtered like these innocent children were slaughtered. He was not even 100% innocent because God said he offended him. All right? It's just that if not for the people, he will not have ended up offending God. But look at the damage, the collateral damage. He was looking for Jesus. <laughs> Jesus escaped. And he said, all right, all right, if Jesus has escaped, I think by my calculation, he must, he must be between one year and two years old. All right, go around and kill any, anybody and everybody, two years old and younger. They were all damaged. There, there is wickedness in this world, though. Wickedness. Wickedness in this world. And there are abundance of wicked people in this world. You know what my prayer is? May God put his touch not upon you. May God put his touch not upon your children. May God put his touch not upon your grandchildren. All of us and our offsprings. May God make it impossible for us to be touched. Because there are, I'm, I'm an African. I understand this very well. There are people who will kill you in a jiffy. Who will kill your children in a jiffy. Especially if they know they cannot kill you. They go after your children. And that was the case here. He wasn't interested in adults. He was interested in the children. And he killed them as if he had no child of his own. And I bet you, I bet you if he had grandchildren, he won't kill them. You know, look at people who kill people. I say, all right, you are killing all these people. What about if someone came and killed your own child? Well, we thank God this evening that Jesus has already died. And Jesus has already resurrected. So we can plead in his name not to let this type of tragedy befall us in our families. The prayer today is serious, though. The prayer points are heavy. And I pray God will help you to be able to pray them in faith and to be able to concentrate. Well, I think I've talked enough. Let's go before God and pray with thanksgiving first. And then we're going to this prayers tonight. I want you to thank God for allowing us to see another Friday tonight. I give God the praise. I give God the glory. I give God the honor. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I bless you. Say, Lord, I worship you. For allowing me to see another Friday to come and pray, to come and call upon your holy name. Thank him for being with us all through the walk week. Can you believe today is Friday? And for many of you, it's Saturday already. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. We glorify your holy name for how you've been with us all week long. Going out, coming in. Going out, coming in. By train, by road, by air. Here we have already come. Everybody is accounted for. Father, we bless your name. Even those who are in the hospital, they are accounted for. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the prayers of yesterday oh, on collaterally damaged Moses. We are not rejoicing because Moses was collaterally damaged, but there are lessons we can learn from him. And we thank you for the prayers you gave us to pray yesterday concerning that. Glory be to his name, honor be to his name. I wanted to thank him, oh, thank him, thank him, thank him. Because grace and mercy will not allow you to be implicated in the complicated issues of other people. Yeah, some people have complicated issues and they drag us into it and they put us in the middle of it. I want you to thank him because grace and mercy has always been there to rescue. Grace and mercy has always been there to set free. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you for your greatness and for your kindness that silences the wickedness of the wicked. Oh, God. Father, we thank you and we bless you for standing up for us, for fighting for us day in, day out. Thank God because those who have been banished from destiny will no longer be allowed to drag you along with them. 
Like I said yesterday, some people are going nowhere and they are looking for people that will go to the station of nowhere with them. It shall not be your portion. It shall not be my portion. I want you to thank God because God will watch over you to ensure that you are kept by the power of God and you are protected by the mercy of God. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you in advance for the prayers of tonight. The prayers of tonight are serious. Oh, I want you to thank God in advance for them. Whenever we have to pray about children, my heart is always touched. I want you to thank God in advance for the prayers of tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank him because neither you nor your children will be collaterally damaged after tonight. I want you to say that in advance and say by the grace of God, say it, say by the grace of God after tonight. Neither me nor my children will be collaterally damaged in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you because the prayers of tonight will yield results in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Give him dominion. Come on, give him majesty tonight. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I bless you. Say, Lord, I worship you. Say, Lord, I adore you for bringing me to this place of intercession, for bringing me to this place of prayer tonight. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. In the name of Jesus, Father, come on, accept our thanks tonight. Father, come and accept our praises tonight, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we glorify you. Father, we honor you. We bless you. We worship you. Thank him in advance tonight for the prayers we are going to pray tonight. God is going to do great things. Thank him because neither you nor your children after tonight will be collaterally damaged in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray that the Lord will give us prayer points. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Don't allow any distraction to stop you tonight. Oh, just focus on why we are here, that the Lord will give you prayer points tonight. Lord, give us prayer points tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Both personal prayer points and, and, and corporate prayer points that we are going to give tonight, that it will be just what you need. Do you know how they say that's what the doctor ordered? Yes, Dr. Jesus will will order prayers for us tonight, uh, will order intercessions for us tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Father, just take control of this gathering tonight. Uh, take control of this prayer meeting tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Father, bless us tonight, O oh God, even as we pray. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight, uh, that sin and unbelief will not hinder your prayers tonight. Uh, I want you to ask the Lord, whatever I'm might have done tonight, whatever I might have done this afternoon, whatever I might have done this morning that will be a hindrance to these prayers. Oh Lord, take them out of me and wash me and cleanse me and purge me and purify me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, we ask that you will cleanse us of every sin of omission. We ask you that you will cleanse us of any sin of commission in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, arise, wash us and cleanse us, wash us and purge us, wash us and purify us. Oh Lord, we don't want the enemy to be able to say, no, don't answer his prayers because he did this or said this. Father, whatever I did, whatever I said since the onset of today, I pray that the blood of Jesus, I want you to plead the blood of Jesus that it will cleanse you, it will wash you, it will purge you and it will purify you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to come against unbelief tonight, that the Lord will remove unbelief. Some of the prayers I'm going to give you tonight, you're going to need a lot of faith to pray them. I want you to pray that your faith will be strong for the prayers of tonight. Oh Lord, there will be no doubt in my heart, there will be no doubt in my life, even as I pray tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray for grace, grace, grace to call on God with focus 
us tonight uh, that the Lord will help you to pray for, uh, to, to be able to focus on God. Uh, even as we pray tonight, there will be no distraction whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me grace to pray. Give me grace to pray. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, help me to be able to focus on why I'm here tonight. Uh, I have a reason for staying up. I have a reason uh, for being here. Oh, Lord God, and that is to call upon you. Uh, I pray that you will give us the grace to be able to call upon you with intensity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Father, make tonight hot. Uh, make tonight boiling uh, in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we pray for our friends. I want us to help me pray. Uh, I see a lot of people in Europe uh, that are with us tonight on Facebook. Welcome. Uh, I see people from Ghana that are with us on Facebook. I see people uh, all over with us on, on, on Facebook tonight and I believe there are people also on the podcast that I'm unable to see in Nigeria and in other places. I want you to pray for them. It's past their bedtime. Many of them had to struggle and, and push themselves up to be able to pray with us tonight. Say, oh Lord, give them strength. Give them strength to be able to stay alert, to be able to stay awake. Don't let the flesh betray them, oh God. Help them to be able to pray tonight without any distraction whatsoever from the flesh. I want to bind sleep from their lives for the next 39 minutes uh, that we're going to be together in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, keep us alert. Uh, even those of us that it is still daytime, uh, I want you to pray that the Lord will keep you alert. The Lord will keep you awake. Uh, I want you to pray that your mind will not stray into the business of the day. Uh, for many of us, a lot of things have happened today. We don't want to worry about that. We just want to focus on why we are here. So Lord, help us, help us, help us, help us. Uh, I want you to pray for me that the Lord will give me strength to be able to lead the prayers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, the way we pray these prayers, you need a lot of grace. I want you to pray that God will pour grace out on me. God will pour strength upon me. So, will be able to pray so that you will be like three minutes even though we need to pray for the next 38 minutes. Uh, oh Lord, strengthen us, strengthen us, strengthen us, strengthen me, strengthen my brothers, strengthen my sisters in prayer land in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh Lord, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know who the Bible calls unreasonable and wicked men? Yes, that who Herod was, unreasonable and wicked men. And those who practice witchcraft, many of them are unreasonable and wicked. Many people who practice voodoo, many of them are unreasonable and they are wicked. I want you to pray, Lord, protect me, protect me, protect me and my children. Protect me and my children from the anger of unreasonable and wicked strong men like Herod. Come and open your mouth and pray for protection tonight. Oh Lord, I pray for protection for me and mine. I pray for protection for me and my children. I pray for protection for me and my grandchildren from the anger, from the wrath of unreasonable and wicked strong men like Herod. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, protect us, oh Lord, keep us, oh Lord, watch over us, unreasonable and wicked men in the family. They are in families, oh, hey. They are in families. I want you to pray for your family right now. Say, oh Lord, in my family, mention the, your family name. If there be unreasonable and wicked men in this, my family, dead or alive, I want you to pray the Lord would deliver you from their anger. Some died angry and they are still angry with you even in their grave. If that is a possibility. Yes, it is. Because what they did against you before they died is still lingering on you. I want you to say, my Lord, Lord, oh my God, I come before you tonight. Uh, deliver me from wicked and unreasonable men like Herod, uh, that I am my family circle, uh, that I am my father's side, that I am my mother's side. Uh, these people will go and do juju. They will go and do voodoo. Uh, it's only $5. $5. Small money. Maybe you didn't know that. Uh, the money that they pay to destroy people is not $1,000. It's not $10,000. It's not $100,000. It's chicken change. So somebody can die like a chicken. Uh, 
I want you to pray tonight. Protect me. Protect my sons. Protect my daughters. Protect my grandchildren. And protect my wife. Protect my husband from unreasonable and wicked men. Mention their names if you know them on your father's side. Say, oh Lord, Mr. Swan, so is unreasonable and wicked. Oh, he's unreasonably wicked. You know, it's bad to be unreasonable. It's bad to be wicked. When you join the two together, my Lord, have mercy. Unreasonable people, uh, wicked people. Uh, that's who Herod was. Uh, and he happened to be a strong man too. Uh, he had the power of the state uh, behind him. Uh, oh Lord, in my family, deliver me from them. Uh, on my job, deliver me from them. Uh, in my neighborhood, deliver me from them. Uh, Herod was in government. In government, deliver me from them. Uh, people that you cannot appease. Uh, people that you cannot appeal to. Oh Lord, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us from wicked and unreasonable man. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know what I like to call them? Bloodthirsty human beings. I wanted to say, oh Lord, give me deliverance tonight even as I pray from bloodthirsty human beings and bloodthirsty demonic powers who don't care whose blood they shed. Did you hear what I said? Bloodthirsty humans, bloodthirsty demons who don't care whose blood they shed. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me, deliver me. I want you to pray this prayer by faith. Oh, some people are not happy that your children are alive. Some people are not happy that you are alive. And so we are praying tonight. Put a mark upon us, oh Lord. A mark that they will try but they will fail. In the name of Jesus, deliver us from bloodthirsty human beings. Deliver us from bloodthirsty demonic powers who don't care whose blood they shed. Whether young, look at this silly Herod. Two year old, they kill them. One year old, they kill them. One day old they kill them. They don't care whose blood they shed. Oh Lord watch over us and everyone on this prayer line. In Africa oh Lord protect them. In America protect them. In the Caribbean island protect them. Wherever anyone is praying with us tonight. Get deliverance. Be delivered. Get deliverance. Be delivered from bloodthirsty human being in your family. In the name of Jesus. They don't care who whose blood they shed in the name of Jesus. I heard a story early this week of somebody that had a wife. He was married, but he also had a girlfriend. But what he did not know was that his girlfriend was into witchcraft and the girlfriend wanted to use him as a sacrifice in the witchcraft coven. But somehow, somehow God had mercy on him and deliver him. Say, Lord, deliver me from bloodthirsty human beings that I call my dear, that I call my love, that I call honey. Oh, Lord God, whoever they are, if they are demonically inclined, if they are bloodthirsty people and they don't care whose blood they shed, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. You'll be surprised how many children are demonized now and they sit next to your son at school. They sit next to your daughter at school. Yes, you are not there. I want you to pray. Wherever my children go, God, deliver them from bloodthirsty friends. Deliver them from bloodthirsty students. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will shield you and your children. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, shield me and my children from the sword of those who will attack any one, when they cannot get who they want, when they cannot get what they want, when they cannot go where they want to go to, when they are blocked, when they are ridiculed, they will kill anyone. I pray that God will shield me. I pray that God will shield you. I pray that God will shield me. I pray that God will shield you from the sword of those who will attack anyone, from the arrows of anyone who will attack anyone, when they cannot get who they want to get when they cannot kill who they want to kill. In the name of Jesus. Baby Jesus escaped. Hallelujah. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, as you, God protected baby Jesus uh, from the wicked plans of Herod. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, protect me, protect my children. Uh, in the name of Jesus, protect me and protect my children. Uh, there are wicked Herods around your life. Uh, they are liars. Hey, Herod said, go and bring, tell 
me where he is. Hey, hey, so I may come and worship him. It was a lie. He didn't want to go and worship him. I want you to pray tonight. The Lord will deliver you from liars in your family. The Lord will deliver you from liars on your job. They say they are friends, but they are enemies. They are wolves in sheep clothing. Oh, Lord, deliver me and my children. Oh, as you protected baby Jesus from the wicked plans of Herod. Herod did not want Jesus to fulfill destiny. I want you to pray. Whoever doesn't want my children to fulfill their destiny, let them fail, oh God, in their plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, protect my children, protect my children as you protected baby Jesus, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know there are some deaths. Are you with me tonight? There are some deaths that are known to kill infants. There are some deaths that are known to kill infants. I want you to pray tonight. Let them not get close to the creeps of my children. Let them not get close to the creeps of my grandchildren. Let them not go to the bunker of my children. Let them not get to the bed of my children. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Herod was not after Joseph. Herod was not after Mary. Uh -uh. Herod was after their baby. I want you to pray, oh, those who are after my children. They want me to cry, oh God, like Rachel. They want me to weep unconsolably like Rachel. Oh Lord, let them fail. 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 Oh, fail. Deaths. Deaths and destruction. Oh God. Oh God. Damages. Collateral damages that are known to kill infants. Two years and under. Two years to ten years. Ten years just teenagers. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaths that are known to kill infants. Let them not get close to the cribs of my children. Let them not get close to the rooms of our children. Let them not go to the school of our children. Let them not get to the classroom of our children and our grandchildren and our great great grandchildren. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I told you the prayers of tonight are serious. Now listen to the next one. How did Mary know? How did Joseph know? It was in a dream that God showed to them and he said, Joseph, carry this boy and your wife and run to Egypt. That was a vision. That was a dream of the night. I want you to pray for divine direction. Hey, maybe one of these days, we will pray for two days on divine directions. I want you to pray, oh Lord, day and night. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Please pray, please pray. <laughs> Where there is no vision, what happens? The people perish, oh, I want you to pray in dreams, in visions. During the day, during the night, give me divine directions. Give me divine directions on how me and my family uh, will escape those who are breathing fire those who are breathing smoke in the name of Jesus that was who Herod was I want you to pray God will touch your dreams God will touch your visions if they are about to give you a poison at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning God will have showed you at 3 a.m. today in the name of Jesus so when they bring their food you will just smile say me God has already showed me can I ask you to pray Oh Lord, don't let destruction meet me on our wares. Don't let destruction meet my family on our on our wares. Did you know that it was not baby Jesus that had the dream? No, 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 no. Even if baby Jesus had the dream, he could not tell his parents. I believe there are things that God shows children, but how will they know a two-year-old, a one-year-old, an 18-year-old? How will they know? It is we adults. The responsibility is on me. The responsibility is on you for these children. Oh, I want you to pray. Uh, Papa, pass me not, pass me not, pass me not. Uh, when I sleep, don't pass me. Uh, when I'm awake, don't pass me. Give me vivid dreams, vivid visions. Uh, day and night, uh, whether I doze off uh, at 1 p.m. Uh, or I doze off uh, at 1 a.m., uh, give me divine directions. Uh, dreams that give divine directions. Uh, dreams that give divine warnings. Uh, did you hear what I said? Divine warnings. Uh, divine directions. Directions. You need it all. Oh, that was the only way. That was the only way this man was free from the plan of Herod. Papa, show me before it happens. Collateral damage that is headed to my children. Collateral damage that is headed to my wife. 
Collateral damage that is headed to my husband. Collateral damage that is headed to my business. Collateral damage that is headed to my children. Oh Lord, show me before it happens. Oh Lord, show me before they happen. Oh Lord, show me before they happen. Oh God, I wish, I wish you will pray tonight that the Lord will not leave you the way you are. You will see it, you will know it, you will feel it before it happens. The Bible says where there is no vision. I'm repeating it to the people perish. Say, oh Lord, from now on, from now on, please bless me with abundance of visions that will save me and my children from wicked orders to kill and to destroy us. Oh Lord, I come tonight. Oh Lord, I come this morning. From now on, let me always have abundance of visions, abundance of revelations that will save me and my children from orders to kill. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, your children, two year old, maybe they dream, maybe they don't dream, I don't know. But even if they dream, how will they know how to interpret? How will a two year old know how to tell you? A one year old know how to tell you that Herod is coming. The responsibility to see. Hey! The responsibility to know. It's on you, my brother. It's on you, my sister. And if you just sleep and wake up like you sleep, if you just get up, you hear nothing. You see nothing. Oh, Herod will come and you will not be in Egypt. Say, oh Lord, I pray from now on, from tonight on, oh Lord, abundance of visions, abundance of dreams, abundance of revelations that will save me and my children from wicked orders to heal. Can I ask you to pray another thing about these visions and revelations? Say, oh Lord, help me to obey even when I don't understand. Help me to obey even when I don't understand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will help you to immediately obey when you don't even understand. Even when you disagree. But you cannot get a vision except God gives it to you. Once you see it, no matter how clean your plan is, no matter how ready you are, you just know, no, 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 no. I'm shelving this for now. I'm not going forward with this for now. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that God will give you clear, crystal clear, crystal clear, crystal clear visions, crystal clear directions. Did you hear what I said? Crystal clear directions, crystal clear visions. Oh Lord, I don't need blurry visions anymore. I don't need visions that I need to interpret. I want them to be clear. I want them to be direct. Come on, open and ask the Lord, open your mouth and ask the Lord to help you. Father God, give me, oh Lord, oh Lord, not blurry visions, but crystal clear visions, directions that I will know this is where to go, this is where not to go. Don't go to, uh, don't go to this place, don't go to that place, because somebody is coming from Macedonia that will help you, that will ask you to come. I want you to pray, oh Lord, let your directions for me be clear. Don't let them be hijacked by Satan. Don't let them be hijacked by wicked powers. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Many of you remember how God saved you from troubles because there was a vision. There was an advanced information. Oh Lord, I know the Holy Spirit is spying for me all the time. Oh Lord, open my ears. Oh Lord, open my ears. I want you to pray that every plug in your ears, the Lord will pull them out. Every plug in your eyes, the Lord will pull them out. Every plug in your mind, the Lord will pull them out. From tonight, make it vivid. From tonight, make it clear. From tonight, make it crystal. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, one time I was to travel and go somewhere and... Um, and, and God just gave me a vision and God showed me something that was going to happen. This was maybe 10 years ago or so. So clear that was going to happen. And I said, I already bought my ticket. I was ready to go. And I said to myself, no, 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 no. God said, don't go. And I didn't go. You know what is funny? I called the people that I was to go to and I told them I'm not coming. I scrap it. You know what they told me? Hey, hey, Jesus. They told me that, you know what? God hides the righteous so that the evil day will not catch them. I said, what? What are you saying? 
You mean there is an evil day waiting for me? I want you to pray, oh Lord, don't let me enter into a jam before I know. Don't let me enter into a trouble before I know. Even if I bought my ticket, even if I've invited all the guests, even if I've done this and I've done that and everything is set. And the last minute, I said the last minute, God says, no, don't go. No, don't do it. Say, oh Lord, give me the grace to always immediately obey, even when I don't understand. Help me to obey when I don't understand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank God for fathers. You fathers, I pray for you on this prayer line tonight. You mothers, I pray for you on this prayer line tonight. You guardians, I pray for you on this prayer line tonight. If Herod gets Jesus, it's because you have no eyes to see. Oh, if Herod gets Jesus, it's because you have no ears to hear. Oh, Say, oh Lord, I pull my ears tonight. Open it, let it see. I open my eyes tonight. Open it, let them see. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I put my hand on my heart. Father, speak to me on the inside. Let nothing meet me on our ways. Come on, fire prayer tonight. Let nothing meet me on our ways. Come on, pray tonight. Let nothing catch me on our ways. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Herod tried. It, but God did not allow it. I want you to pray that every herald that wants to turn my, my child into a collateral damage, I decree that you will, O oh Lord, deliver me from present day heralds. As, as Herod failed to kill Jesus, as Herod failed to take out Jesus, I decree that so it will be for present day heralds. They will fail to touch me. They will fail to kill me. They will fail to touch my offspring. They would fail to teach, uh, to, to mess with my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, oh, look at this foolishness. Look at this foolishness. Herod was angry with the wise men. He was very, very angry with the wise men. And then he went after the children. I want you to pray that your children will not become victims of those who are angry with others. Come on, open your mouth and let's pray this prayer together. In the name of Jesus. Papa, I pray, oh. Oh, my children, I pray, oh, my children, let them not become victims of those who are angry with others tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that when wicked people miss their targets, yes, Herod missed his target. I want you to pray when wicked people are around me in the family, wicked people are around me on the job, wicked people are around me even in the house of God, when they miss their target, let me and my children children not become replacements. Let me and my children not become prostitute substitutes. In the name of Jesus, when they miss their targets, I shall not become their replacement. I shall not become their substitute. You know how they say somebody must die. Somebody must die. Somebody must die. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. I'm an African now. Somebody must die in this family. Somebody must die in this family. But the one they target is too strong for them. So they said it's okay. If the one we want is too strong, let's go to the one that is not so strong. Strong. And it's usually the children. Say, oh Lord, when, pe- when wicked people miss their target, when wicked people miss their target, mention the name of who is targeting you. Oh, let me and my children not become replacements. Let me and my children not become substitutes. Say, I shall not die the death that is intended for someone else. Did you hear what I said? I shall not die the death that is intended for someone else. I remember someone that I know. I'm thinking of him right now. His wife just died like that. Bam! His wife died. And the parents of the wife came and they said, what? It is you that we want to kill. How come it is our daughter that died? God changed it. I want you to pray tonight, wicked people that miss their targets. Let me and my children not become replacements. Let me and my children not become substitutes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are with me tonight. I hope you are praying wherever you are tonight. I wish more people will come and join this prayer. Oh, please, when we finish tonight... Send the link out. Send the link out. I want you to pray that when wicked heralds. Mm. Cack. 
kai, kai, kai. Say, when wicked heralds in my life, when wicked heralds around my life, when wicked heralds having authority over my life, when they don't get who they want, when they don't get what they want, let them not transfer their aggression to me and my children. Did you hear what I said? When he didn't get, then he transferred his aggression. And he had the power to transfer it. Say, oh Lord, hey, when wicked heralds in my life, when they don't get who they want, when they don't get what they want, let them not transfer their aggression to me. Let them not transfer their aggression to my children. I want you parents that are with me tonight to pray. Oh, hey. When they don't have the power to pull their arms around the trunk of the tree. You know what they do? They go after the branches of the tree. Your children are the branches. I want you to pray every power of the enemy transferring aggression to my children. Aggression to my children. They are after me but then they go after my children. Every plan of Satan. Every plan of the strong man. Every plan of every wicked power that is cannot get me that cannot touch me and is going after my children. Oh Lord, make it mission impossible. Make it mission impossible. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. He said, kill them two years and under. If you, if your child was two and a half years, they won't kill you. If your child is one day, three days, four days, Older than two years, they will not kill you. I even I will not be surprised if they were asking for certificate. Let us see the birth certificate of this child. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that your children, come on, pray, 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 will be outside the age limit. My children will be outside the age limit of demonic death warrant, of human death warrant. There is a death warrant out there. Oh, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that my children and myself will not be victims. Let my children be outside the age limit of human death warrants, of demonic death warrants. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every wicked order, every wicked order given to slay children in my family, I want you to pray. When they come to execute the order, your children will not be at home. You will not be at home. Come on, decree, decree, decree when demons come, when foul spirits come, in the name of Jesus, to carry out wicked orders, to slay children inside my family. Oh Lord, let them not meet me at home. Let them not meet my children at home. Did you hear what I said? Let us be out of town, in the name of Jesus. When they come to our city, the executioner you know that day the executioners came to Rima. Hey, and Rachel was home. I wish Rachel was out of town. Oh, I wish Rachel was not there. Oh, but she was in town that day. Hey, I want you to pray, 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 pray. Say the day that executioners will visit my town. The day that executioners will visit the boundaries of my city. Oh Lord, let me and my children be out of town. Let me and my children be out of the city in the name of Jesus. Rachel, you will not have cried. You will not have suffered. Your children will not have died if they were, if you were all out of town. But they were in town, my people. I want you to pray, Lord, mercy, 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 mercy tonight. Let neither me nor my children be in the city when executioners visit my city and the boundaries thereof. Let me not be at home when they come to the house. Let me not be at work when they come to the work. When they, when they not be in my office, when they come to my office, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they came over and met him, met her, and they killed her children, and many, 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 many other children. I want you to pray that then the voices, oh my God, the groaning, the lamentations of collaterally damaged parents, these were crying here, that were crying, those were crying there. And they say, oh, we had baby three months ago in the same hospital. We had baby one year ago in the same hospital. We celebrated two-year birthday last month. And they were crying right and left. I want you to pray tonight. When voices, come on, say when voices. Open your mouth, say when voices. Oh, Lord, please pray, please pray, please pray. Say when voices of collaterally damaged parents, collaterally damaged children, when they are hard in your city, your voice will not be in the number. My voice will not be in... Hey, 
yeah, my voice will not be in the number when voices of collaterally damaged parents, collaterally damaged children are being heard in my city. Let my voice not be in the number, O oh God. Say when voices of weeping, of mourning, of lamentation, those are the three things that were said about Rachel. Weeping, mourning, lamentation are heard in my city and homes everywhere. Let my voice not be in the number, O oh God. Let my voice not be among the voices. When voices of weeping and mourning and lamentations, when they are heard in my city, when they are heard in, in homes everywhere in my city, let my voice not be among them, O oh Lord. When children, when parents rush to the school to see who was shot, to see who was killed, let my children not be in the number. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, O oh Lord, I weep and I cry and I plead. Say, I plead with you tonight, Lord of mercy. Say, I plead tonight, Lord of mercy, collateral damage that will make me weep for any of my family members will not be my portion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, collateral damage that will make me weep for any of my family members. Oh, hey. Any of my family members, collateral damage that will make me weep and lament, oh God, and make me mourn, oh God. Let it not be my portion, oh God. What is your name? My name is Rachel. What is your name? I'm asking you tonight. Mention your name. Say, oh Lord, my name is so and so. Tell the Lord, have a record of this name, oh my Lord. My name is so and so. This is my middle name also. Let me never weep for my children like Rachel did, O oh Lord. Let me never weep for my children like Rachel did, O oh Lord. It was written down that, that Rachel wept. Rachel lamented. I want you to pray. Say, O oh Lord, this is my own name. Oh, hey. Let it never go on record. In the name of Jesus that I wept because Herod came and collaterally damaged my children. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray the next prayer. Say, in this Rama, where I live, in this Rama, where I live, I don't know where you live. Substitute that Rama with the name of your city where you live. In this New York City, where I live, in this Chicago, where I live, everywhere I will ever live, let my voice never be among those who mourn losses of family members. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In this London where I live, let my voice never be. In this Birmingham where I live, let my voice never be. Among the voices of those who mourn losses of family members, they wrote it down in Rema. There was a voice. It was a voice of Rachel. Say, I, Rachel, whatever your name is, I, G Jennifer, I, Mary, I will not weep in this New York City when others are weeping for losses. In the name of Jesus, collateral damage shall not be my portion. Rachel wept for her children. Did you hear what I said? Rachel wept for her children. I want to say it again. Oh, Rachel wept for her children. That means they kill more than one of them. They kill more than one of them. I want you to please take a second and mention the names of your children one by one. If you have only one child, mention that name over and over again and say the Lord, I will still have more children. Mention the names of your children one by one and say, oh Lord, so and so, my son, so and so, my daughter, let them never become victims of collateral death. Let them never become victims of collateral damage. Can you please, do you love your son? I'm just asking a question. Oh, do you love your sons? Do you love your daughter? Do you love your daughters? Then insert their names. Rachel! Ah! I want you to pray, Lord God, you bless me with two children. You bless me with three children. You bless me with four children. Here are their names, oh God. The day I rejoice when I saw them. Oh Lord, let that day not be cut short by wicked Herod. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, mention their names. Mention their names. Mention their 
their names in the name of Jesus. Mention the names of your grandchildren also. Say, oh Lord, let me always laugh. Let me always rejoice. Let me never have to cry because of this daughter, because of this son, those heralds around her life, around his life. Let them not be able to have dominion over them in the name of Jesus. You already see things going on with your son. You already see things going on with your daughter and you wonder what is going on. There might be a herald that wants to take this child out while she's young. While he's young, it shall not happen in the name of Jesus. Unconsolable sorrow. Hey, say my father, my father, my father, my father. Let me not become a victim of unconsolable sorrow concerning collateral damage of my children. Concerning collateral damage to my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, let me never, 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 never become a victim of unconsolable sorrow to any of my family members concerning collateral damage. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Now let's turn that prayer around. I want you to pray this prayer like this. Next prayer like this. Say, O God of all comfort. Say, O God of all consolation. I want you to call him by those names again. Say, O God of all comfort. Say, O God of all consolation in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, console and comfort those who are already victims of Herod in the name of Jesus. Those who are already victims on this prayer line of, oh God, collateral damage to their loved ones, to their children, to their family members. Oh Lord, comfort them, console them, comfort them, console them, comfort them, console them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this woman cried, Rachel cried. You know what the Bible says? It says, because they are not. She cried for her children. It's bad enough to lose one child, but to lose children in one day, and for them to be slaughtered before you, ah, uh-uh, I want you to pray, Lord, let the day never come that I will look for my child or look for my children and they are gone and they are not. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It's not easy, oh, I want you to pray. Don't ever go through it. Don't ever go through it. That's just a prayer that you will pray. Go and ask those who have been through it. They will tell you it's not easy. They will tell you it's difficult. In the name of Jesus. That's why you don't go to people like that and say, I know what you are going through. No, you don't know what they are going through. In the name of Jesus. Because you have never been through it. Say, oh Lord, let the day never come. Let the day never come. That I will look for my child or my children. And they are not. That I will go to the school to pick up my son. To pick up my daughter. And they are not. I used to walk with a lady many years ago. Ah, 1975. 1976, the child went to school, oh, and they never saw that child up till today. Oh, Lord, I wanted to say, my father, my God, let that day never come, let that day never come, that I will go to pick up my grandchild, and they say, go to the mortuary. In the name of Jesus, something happened during playtime, and he's dead. In the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, let that day never come when they say, my child is not, my children are not. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray against collateral damage that will cause you to shed unending tears for your children. That will cause your children to shed unending tears for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I say something here people? Now it takes a lot of faith to pray this prayer that I'm about to ask you to pray. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He prophesied it 583 years ago. All right, it was 583 years before it happened that Jeremiah prophesied it, and he was so accurate. He mentioned the name of Rachel, and he told about his her children that will be killed. Now I want us to pray. I believe in prophecies, but you can reverse them if you know how to pray. Yes, you can reverse prophecies because Hezekiah was told you will die. Go and put your house in order. You are going to die. And if 
faced the wall and he said, Lord, let's change this thing. And God changed it for him. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say, oh Lord, all negative prophecies that have ever been spoken concerning my children, all negative prophecies that have ever been spoken concerning me. That's why I look at people, you have a dream that somebody dies and you're already buying casket for him as if he's going to die. And then he doesn't die and you are wondering, why will he not, why is he not dead? Because what you saw may not be true and what you saw may be true, but you can reverse it. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Lord and my God, whether I know it or not, whether it's been given 500 years ago or 300 years ago, O Lord of Hezekiah, O Lord of Hezekiah, O Lord of Hezekiah, all negative prophecies that I know, all negative prophecies that I don't know, that have ever been given me concerning myself or concerning my children, all negative prophecies of death and doom. You know, sometimes it's the doctor that gives you this prophecy of death and doom. I want you to pray. Reverse them for me. Reverse them for me. Reverse them for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray specifically because it was a prophecy of death that Jeremiah prayed. He said, Rachel is coming to be born. She will get married. She will have children. But the children will die one day and she will cry. I want you to pray prophecies of death, prophecies of weeping, prophecies of mourning, prophecies of lamentation. No matter how authentic, no matter how accurate the prophet may be, I reject it for me, I reject it for my children. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever they have said in their covens and they are prophesied, hallelujah, in their covens, and they say, it shall be this, it shall be this, it shall be this, it shall be this. I want you to pray, it shall not be. In the name of Jesus. Death shall not be the portion of my children. Death shall not be my portion. In the name of Jesus. Prophecies of weeping. Prophecies of mourning. Prophecies of lamentation. Plans of weeping. Plans of mourning. Plans of lamentation. Oh yes. Isaiah who prophesied to Hezekiah was a, was an authentic prophet. And yet Hezekiah said no, 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 no. I want you to say no to death this evening. I want you to say no to mourning this evening. I want you to say no to lamentation this evening. In the name of Jesus, say I reject it. Say I reject it for me. Say I reject it for my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I wish we had more time. Let's go before God and give him praise and give him glory and give him honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus. Father, do it for us and sours. Do it for us and sours. Do it for us and sours. In the name of Jesus. We reject collateral damage for our children. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I think this is what I'm going to do next week. I'm just going to devote one day next week alone to praying about our seven prayer requests. Seriously. Because uh, we, we, we get so much into the main prayer that we, we don't have time for the, uh, for the uh, seven prayer requests. So we're going to devote time. If it's not next week, then it will be another week. But I want us to thank God for the opportunity to pray tonight. Uh, raise up your prayer request. Uh, raise up your prayer points. Uh, and let me pray for you. I thank God for the opportunity to pray for you concerning the prayer request in your hand. I pray that the prayer request in your hand will meet with the mercy of God. They will meet with the favor of God and they will meet with the grace of God and by his mercy and by his grace may God grant you the desire of everything you've written down in the name of Jesus Christ. May God let you know, may God let you experience the joy that can only come when these seven prayer requests are answered in the name of Jesus from number one to number seven they are nothing to God. He can do them all. Heavenly Father, speed up the answer in the name of Jesus. Let the door of mercy be open unto your children concerning their seven prayer requests. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Wow. I wish we can continue tonight, but I thank God for you for being here. Don't forget when we are done. 
you can still send the link to your loved ones. Don't forget tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Daylight savings time begins on Sunday. So remember to turn your clock one hour forward when going to bed on Saturday night. Now that means the podcast will come on one hour earlier from next week, Thursday. All right, God is going to have a powerful prayer point. I uh, mean, powerful prayer points that we're going to pray next week. Our theme is rest on every side. That's what I want to rest on every side. You know what they call trouble on every side? You can have rest on every side. That's going to be our prayer for Thursday and Friday next week. So please plan to join us. God spare in our lives. Shall we share the grace as we go home and rest for the evening? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Go home and rest. And may you and your children never be collaterally damaged in Jesus' name. Keep me in your prayers. Good night.